Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Ung Studio and today we're going to be making a cardboard bell light. This is going to be one of the biggest projects that I've ever made using my Glowforge laser cutter and I'm excited to share it with you. If you haven't seen any of my previous cardboard lamp videos, I highly recommend you check out the playlist that I created and you see all of the other lamps that I created using cardboard. Before we get into the design of this cardboard bell light, remember to hit the like button below to help support this channel and also subscribe for more videos like this one. Now with that, let's jump into the 3D model where I'll show you what this bell light looks like. The design of this light is inspired by the typical shape of a bell. Right now, you can start to see the shape of that bell if you imagine this 3D model flipped upside down. The reason why I have it orientated in this direction is because I'm actually going to be installing it on the top of a floor lamp and facing it up towards the ceiling so that the light can actually reflect and bounce off of the ceiling. It's typical for floor lamps to be designed this way, so this particular light will be designed for a floor lamp, but it could also be used as a pendant light, which I'll show you later. This bell light is going to be 18 inches wide by 8 inches tall. The reason why it's so large is because the floor lamp base is 5 feet tall, so proportionally this will work well when it's put on top of it. The bottom here that you see is going to be the area for the socket to be inserted through, and then the light bulb will sit right at the top here. Now let's move into the next step, which is slicing up this 3D model and turning it into all of the layers that will come together with cardboard to create this bell light. This is what the 3D model looks like when I bring it into Autodesk Slicer, turn it into its original size, and then cut all of the pieces into stackable layers. Once I do that, you can see all of the pieces come together. By clicking on the Get Plans tab, you'll see that Autodesk Slicer actually arranges all of the pieces in a very inefficient way. Right now, there's about one piece per sheet, and there's 85 different sheets. I really want to be efficient with the way that I'm going to be cutting all of the pieces on my Glowforge laser cutter, so I also added another step. Once I export all of these plans, I bring it into Adobe Illustrator, which will look something like this. So here in Adobe Illustrator, you'll see that I was able to take the 85 different sheets from Autodesk Slicer and turn it into about 28 total sheets. I probably could have taken a little bit more time to reduce it by maybe two or three more sheets, but I was really happy with how this layout turned out. Now that we've gone over the design and efficiently laid out all of the pieces on 28 different sheets, Let's move into the next step of this project, which is going to be laser cutting all of the pieces, assembling it, and then I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's installed as a pendant light and also on the floor lamp that I have. So let's get started.
So that's how I make this cardboard bell light. From the beginning to the end of the project, it took about 10 hours total, with the longest parts of it being setting up the laser cut sheets and laser cutting every piece for this project. One thing that I wanted to mention is that this bell light came together in sections. So every piece actually has some tabs at the bottoms and at the tops. These tabs allow me to take all of the pieces and align them and then slot them together because my laser cutter wasn't large enough to accommodate the overall circumference of the circles. Overall, I love how this cardboard bell light came out and I'm interested to know what you think about it. So let me know in the comment section below and remember to like, subscribe, and follow me for more.